Have you ever wondered why Shaitan, the devil, despises Ramadan so much? This holy month holds a special significance in the Islamic faith. It's a time of fasting, prayer, reflection and community. So, why would Shaitan, the embodiment of evil, dread it so much? What is it about these 30 days that causes such unease in the underworld? Could it be that there's something about Ramadan that Shaitan would rather keep hidden? It's time to unravel the truth about Ramadan and what Shaitan doesn't want you to know. Ramadan, the ninth month of the Islamic lunar calendar, holds a special place in the hearts of millions worldwide. A period that's more than just a series of sunrises and sunsets, Ramadan is a time of spiritual elevation and enlightenment. Let's dive a bit deeper into the concept of Ramadan. It's a month of fasting, prayer, reflection and community. But it's not just about abstaining from food and drink from dawn to dusk. It's about consciously refraining from negative thoughts and actions and making a concerted effort to be kinder, more generous and more forgiving. During Ramadan, the rhythm of life changes. It's a time when individuals, families and communities come together to break their fasts, pray and reflect. It's a time when the air is filled with a sense of unity, a feeling of belonging. The spirit of Ramadan transcends borders and cultures, uniting millions around the globe in a shared experience of faith and devotion. But Ramadan is also a time of personal and spiritual growth. It's a time to connect with our inner selves, to reflect on our actions and intentions, and to strive to become better versions of ourselves. It's a time to seek forgiveness for past mistakes, to make amends, and to set new, positive intentions for the future. Prayer takes on a heightened significance during Ramadan. It's not just a ritual, but a deeply personal conversation with the Divine. It's a time to express gratitude, seek guidance and find solace. In essence, Ramadan is about more than just fasting and prayer. It's about reflection, community, growth and devotion. It's about nurturing our spiritual selves and striving to be better, kinder and more compassionate human beings. And this is why Ramadan holds such a special place in the hearts of millions. It's a time of spiritual elevation, of increased devotion and worship. And this, this spiritual upliftment is something that doesn't sit well with Shaitan. In essence, Ramadan is a time of spiritual elevation, a fact that doesn't sit well with Shaitan. Why does Shaitan despise Ramadan? The answer lies in the very essence of this holy month. You see, Ramadan is a time of spiritual fortitude, of heightened devotion and of deep introspection. It's a month when Muslims worldwide strive to better themselves, to foster a closer connection with their Creator, and to extend their hands in charity. It's a month dedicated to piety, good deeds, and spiritual growth. Now consider Shaitan, the sworn enemy of mankind, whose sole purpose is to lead us astray. He thrives in chaos, in discord, in the weaknesses of our character. He relishes in our moments of doubt, of anger, of selfishness. His goals are diametrically opposed to everything Ramadan stands for, but it's not just the heightened piety during Ramadan that irks Shaitan. It's also the fact that during this holy month he is chained, his influence and power drastically limited. He is unable to sow the seeds of discord, to whisper into the hearts of the believers, to lead them away from the path of righteousness. It's a time when his impact is diminished, when his voice is silenced, when his schemes are thwarted. In a nutshell, Ramadan is the time when Shaitan's influence is at its weakest. It's a time when we can focus on our spiritual growth, free from his whispers and temptations. So, let's make the most of it, shall we? Understanding Shaitan's dislike for Ramadan is more than just a fascinating insight. It provides a deeper understanding of the spiritual battlefield we find ourselves in. This knowledge serves as a powerful reminder of the importance of maintaining our faith and doing good deeds during this holy month. It's like a compass, guiding us to navigate through the challenges and distractions that come our way. Knowing Shaitan's aversion to Ramadan reinforces how significant this month truly is. It's a time when the devil's influence is at its weakest, and our opportunity to grow spiritually is at its strongest. It underscores the power that Ramadan holds, not just in our lives, but also over such a formidable adversary. This knowledge reminds us that Ramadan isn't just about fasting from dawn till dusk, it's about an internal struggle, a battle of the soul, and the ultimate test of faith. So as you prepare for Ramadan, remember, Shaitan doesn't want you to know the power this holy month holds over him. But now, 